Hello guys, welcome to my channel PowerPoint Glamour. Today we will see how to make an A4 sized slide. If you see here, it's a beautiful A4 slide. It's a newsletter template which you can use for your projects. Let's see first how to go ahead and change the slide size. Go to design, click on slide size and then custom slide size. So in this drop down, select A4 paper. Okay, just click on this option and make sure the portrait and portrait options are selected. Okay, don't change anything here in the settings. And then go ahead and click on OK. All right, now we have a beautiful A4 slide ready for us to design. So click on rectangle, insert a rectangle to begin with. Fill it with eye dropping this color. Okay, now make sure there is no outline. Okay, duplicate this shape here, put it aside, then it, go ahead and insert another rectangle. Okay, now we will have to fill this rectangle with a gradient fill. So right click, format shape, go to gradient fill. So we need to have these two sliders, the left one with a light blue color. So click on here, go here, eyedropper, and the right one with the dark blue. Okay, we have this gradient look. Go ahead and insert a circle. Is it here? Fill it with this color. Okay, eye dropping it so that you get the same color. No outline. Great. Now insert another rectangle. Place it here. Okay. Fill it with this color. Right click and group them. All right, make sure there's no outline. Select it again. No outline. Fill it with the same color. Move it there. All right, now bring this to front. Okay, move it a little up. Right click and duplicate this shape. Okay, right click format shape to the duplicate, select gradient fill. So this blue gradient fill will automatically appear and then move it a little up to give that shadow effect. Now we need a duplicate of the circle. So right click, say ungroup, and then control D to duplicate the circle. Great. Now again, go ahead and group it back. All right, now put the circle up here. Just both the circles look alike. It doesn't look good here. So what we will do now, select the circle behind this, move it a little behind this. And then move, select, ungroup it, select just the circle here and fill it with light blue. Okay, now it looks good. Okay, then move the circle, then insert three rectangles of the same size here. Okay, done. I'm fast forwarding it for you. Right click one of the rectangles, go to format shape. Okay, gradient fill. We need to have a black and white gradient here. Okay, left should be black and the right one should be white. Okay, angle 270 degrees, the direction should be like this. Transparency 78 for the black. All right. Great. Now it gives you a great effect there. So copy, paste it here as well. All right. Bring this to front. 
so that those lines gets hidden okay drag it a little here okay looks fine duplicate this now this is one more circle so you need to insert a picture on this circle so what I had done is I had actually googled a picture so right click this picture say copy image so it will be there in your clipboard go back to the presentation right click on this circle go to format shape then go to picture or texture fill okay then click on the clipboard button so it will take the picture from the clipboard and paste it there okay so we have a great effect okay make sure there is no outline yeah there should be an outline white colored and then the weight let's take it to you know, this four and a half okay that's look great that looks great all right now go ahead and insert a circle fill it with the same color here give it a uh, no outline now go ahead and duplicate it do the three circles in a line here one above the other okay Select all of them. All right, duplicate. Move it here. Okay, great. Now go ahead and insert some icons. We need six icons. So I'll select some random icons here. All right, now go ahead and change the color of the icons first. Go to graphics fill, eyedropper, let's select blue as a template. This color is fine. Okay, now go ahead and place the icons on top of the circles. Okay, now we'll have to insert some text boxes. Text boxes are done. Last but not the least, insert a rectangle here on the bottom. You need to give it a gradient fill as well. No outline. Right click, go to format shape. Go to gradient fill. So left and right, the same combination of light blue and dark blue over here. All right, perfectly aligned. Now paste three circles here with those icons. All right, now we need the text box here on the top left for the headline. Okay, and on the right hand corner, you can paste the company logo. So here it is, a great looking template. 
so there's one more page I've added for you so you can go ahead and write some other text also so this is a title slide this is a cover page and the next one is where your text goes so this is a good look of the slide from a close-up Thanks for watching guys. You can download this template for free. Please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.